Hand numbness is a very common symptom I see in the clinic. Oftentimes a story is someone woke up and their hand was numb and they had to shake it out to get it to go away. The first thing we do to figure out a symptom like this is to first look at the anatomy. So all of the yellow lines here are the nerves and let's look at the hand. These yellow lines represent the nerves of the hand. Well, the first thing we do is look to see if there's any pattern to the numbness. A very common distribution of numbness that I see in the clinic is in the first three fingers like this. So we go back to the basic anatomy and trace these yellow lines of the first three fingers until they converge onto one nerve and it goes right there. That's the source. So if a patient comes to me with numbness of these first three fingers, the likely source is right there where the nerve meets to one nerve. Right here, this is called the carpal tunnel. That's the median nerve going through the carpal tunnel. So when people have numbness, pain, tingling in this distribution, that's carpal tunnel syndrome. Syndrome. You can do that with any of the fingers. Let's say these two fingers are now numb. Trace it back all the way to here, which is now the ulnar nerve. So you know that the defect or the issue is somewhere along where all of these join together. You can basically do this for the whole arm. You just keep tracing the nerves all the way up to where they converge and that's where your problem is. Now what if the whole hand is numb? The same rules apply. Follow the nerves all the way up to where they all converge together and you'll end up at the spine. So if your whole hand is numb, then it's somewhere up higher on the spine. Now, what if both hands are numb? The same rule applies. Keep following it up and you will eventually end at the spine or the brain. So if both of your hands are numb, then it's likely in the spine or the brain. Also, if the neurologic issues on both sides, then you have to consider not only the brain and spine, but you have to consider systemic issues. And you'll often see this in people who are diabetics, they get neuropathy. That's a systemic problem versus a local problem where there's a pinched nerve like carpal tunnel. That is the basic way we work up this problem. If there's a numbness or a weakness, you trace the nerves to, the, to where they converge and that's where the problem is. If you keep tracing all the way to the brain and spine, then it's the brain and spine problem or it's a systemic problem.